So over the last four weeks, the children and the young people here at St T's have been working really hard in their singing and acting, stop motion animation and all sorts of things as they've been preparing to take part in this service. Our Royal Age Nativity is usually one of the highlights of my year. And mine too. And this year, whilst it's very different, it's certainly no exception. So normally, as well as the All Age Nativity and lots of other things, we would be having a crib service on Christmas Eve. And at that service, children would have the chance to dress up in nativity costumes. So children, if you've got a nativity costume at home and you'd like to dress up, now is the time to do that. You can have as many Marys and Josephs as we want this year. And if you don't have a whole costume, you might have some tinsel like Emma or even a tea towel like me. Looking good. I think so too. So if you do want to go and get ready, you can always pause this and get dressed up and then come back and join in. So if you're a little older, perhaps dressing up isn't for you. Um, I know there's lots of things that we miss about being together in church, but as you're at home, you are able to sit back with your favourite drink and perhaps open a box of chocolates. So whether you're watching this on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or sometime during the Christmas period or even July, even July, then we hope that you enjoy this service and you know the joy that Jesus brings. We're going to pray together now as we get ready to worship Jesus. So let's sit as quietly as we can as I pray. Thank you, Jesus, for Christmas, and thank you that you love us so much. Be with each of us now as we celebrate and as we worship you. Amen. Amen. So we're going to sing now, and as we worship, the words to all our different songs will be on the screen, so please do join in. Get your dancing feet ready and maybe your instruments or something to wave as we worship God together. So 
In the town of Nazareth lived a young girl called Mary. She was really looking forward to getting married to her fiancé, Joseph. One day, when Mary was daydreaming about her wedding, a special visitor came to see her. Mary looked up and was amazed to see a bright, shining angel standing in front of her. She felt a bit frightened and started to tremble. Don't be afraid, said the angel. I have a special message for you from God. God wants you to be the mother of his son. He'll be king of all God's people. Mary was totally amazed. She could hardly believe her ears and she really couldn't think of anything to say. But, but how can this be? She asked. I, I, I'm not married yet. Everything will happen through the power of God, replied the angel. Nothing is impossible with God. One day, Joseph and Mary set off for far away Bethlehem because the Emperor Augustus had decided they wanted to know exactly how many people lived in his kingdom. Augustus ordered everyone to return to their original hometown so that he could count them all. Poor Mary was going to have her baby really soon so she could only walk slowly. When the couple finally arrived in the little town of Bethlehem, there wasn't a single room left anywhere. They knocked on doors all over the town, but everyone said, Sorry, we're completely full. Then Joseph knocked on one last door. Sorry, said the innkeeper, no room at all. They looked at Mary and realised how tired and heavily pregnant she was. Well, I suppose there is a stable round the back. It's not very clean, but it is warm and dry. You can stay there if you like. That night, Mary gave birth to Jesus, and because she didn't have a crib for him, she wrapped him up and laid him on a bed of hay in an animal's feeding trough. Out in the fields, close to Bethlehem, a group of shepherds were watching over their sheep. Then suddenly, a bright light appeared. It was an angel, a messenger from God. The shepherds felt their knees knocking. They had never seen a real angel before. Don't be frightened, said the angel. I've got some really happy news for you. Today in Bethlehem, a baby has been born. He's God's own special son. Suddenly the sky was full of angels, all singing and praising God joyfully. The shepherds could hardly believe their ears and eyes. The shepherds rushed off to Bethlehem that the angel had told them about. Eventually, when they found the stable with Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus, everything was just as the angel described. Some time later, some wise men from the east saw a new star in the sky. They knew that it was a special sign that a new king had been born. They travelled many miles to go and find Jesus, and then when they found him, they brought him special gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, because they knew that he was someone very important. When they found him with his mother Mary, they knelt down to his knees and worshipped him. Wasn't that story amazing? Well done and thank you to all the children and young people who took part in making that. It was great, wasn't it? it was Emma, it is so lovely to be with you today. I bought you some presents. Oh, thank you. I wondered what these were. Do you want to open this first one and this end? Ooh, this is really exciting. I wonder what's in this bag. Oh, no vacancy sign. Do you know, I thought that might be really good to help you have a proper rest over Christmas. Oh, thank you. It will be. And do you know, this is really great because the drama that we're about to watch now is all about the fact that there was no room at the inn for Mary and Joseph. Mm, absolutely. After our drama, we're going to be singing Away in a Manger together. So do join in with that. Thank you to St Thomas's Preschool for helping to join in with that song. Come on, Mary. 
Are you going to build the head? Yes. I could be up if I were you. The greatest part. I've never seen so many people in Bethlehem before. And there's no room at the inns. Come on, Mary. Keep moving. What are we going to do everywhere to follow those games are? There must be somewhere. Are you looking for somewhere to stay? Yes. Do you know anywhere? We were going to ask you that. Everywhere's full. We've not tried this way yet. Okay, you go that way, we'll go this way. Good luck! Good, Good luck! luck. No room at the inn. Bye bye. There's no room. No room, no room. No room. Bye bye. Let's try going in different directions. Do you have a room free? No, we. Please, my wife is having a baby. We really need somewhere to stay. No, we. What am I going to do? No, V. Hmm. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mary. We'll find somewhere, I promise. Jay says the baby's going to stay. We've got to find somewhere. No room. for hours. It's getting cold. Please help us. No room. No, wait. Let me think. There's a stable. But I can't put guests in the stable. You can. You really can. Oh, please. Just anywhere. Just let us come in and out of the dark. Okay, I'll show you. It's around here. That is the most beautiful baby I've ever seen. 
But there's something I just don't understand. I'll have to ask them. Sorry to disturb you, but could you explain something? Why are you two always on the opposite side of the stable? I haven't seen you closer than two meters the whole time you've been here. Well, just wait about 2,020 years old. Then you'll understand. Maybe. I've got another question too. What is it about the baby? Do they like being important? Why? Well, we all been in the dog for such a long time waiting for God to do something. And now he has. This baby, this is the light breaking in. Just wait, it's all going to change. It's a bit cloudy this evening. It's going to be a long dark night. We have to put some more wood on the fire. We need to keep it burning. We probably need to get torches like two. Yeah, I'll do it in a minute. You'll never believe what happened to us. We found out the sheep when we heard a wolf. But we were brave and ready to fight. And then we saw some big round eyes staring at us from the bushes. Oh my goodness, what happened next? Are you hurt? Are the sheep okay? 
Well, we got ready to defend the sheep, and then the animal came leaping right at him. And there was Jack, the sheepdog from both farm. He's huge. So you weren't in danger at all then, some story. Hey, Leah, what happened to put in the wood on fire? It's going out! Sorry! Too late. <coughs> Someone needs to relight that fire. It's dangerous in the dark. I want it. Oi, get off me! I'm a spider! Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of joy for everyone. Today in Bethlehem, a Saviour has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Wow, how will we know where to find him? Hang on, I haven't finished my message. Sorry, continue. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. That's exciting. Can I ask, how come you're so bright? Oh, there's not just me. The whole heavenly choir is here. Hello! Fantastic! We can see everywhere. Good job you showed up. We were having a bit of trouble with the fire. We saw. You were all really scared. Sorry, but it was very funny to watch. You managed to knock quite a lot considering you are in the middle of the field. We saw how scared you were with that cute little puppy too. I've never seen anyone run away from a puppy so fast. Well, it's hard to see in the dark and everything does feel more scary. That's very true. That's why our message is so wonderful. This baby is going to be the light of the world. He's going to show the world all oh, that is good and true. Let's go to the baby. I can't wait to see him. Wait, how will we, how will we see them? We never let the torches. Here, you can use this. It will light up your way all the way to the stable. Then don't worry about your sheep. We will keep them safe. Thank you. Off we go, everyone. Wait, we haven't sung our song yet. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Songs in glory. 
pays a righteousness The wonders of His love And wonders of His love And wonders, wonders of His love Oh, He rules the world children and young people for all the different ways you've taken part for the band and everyone involved in the dramas we do still have one more drama to enjoy in just a minute we also want to thank parents and carers and leaders for helping people to practice and filming them and making sure they could take part we know that's been a big effort and we all really really appreciate it after our next drama we're going to be hearing the Bible reading, which is from Isaiah 9, and Ali and some of the young people are going to be sharing their thoughts on the passage, which is all about the light in the darkness. And then we're all going to spend just a few minutes praying together and lighting our Advent candles. So as you listen to the talk in a few minutes, you might want something to colour as you listen. And you can find a link to print this verse just in the description on YouTube, just below this video. So do Print this if you'd like to colour it in as you listen. Emma, before we watch our drama, there's one last present. Would you like to open it? Oh, yes, I would. It must be this rather nice shiny red one. Yeah, have a look. Oh, oh, this is very nice and sparkly. Look, it's a star. Yeah. Now, there's a little bit of a story behind this, because what I wanted to get you was a sat-nav, just to make sure you didn't get lost anywhere. And I couldn't find one, so I thought you could have that to follow instead. Well, that would be really useful because, do you know, the wise men, they followed a star to get to Bethlehem. So should we have a look now to see how they did on their journey to find Jesus? Yeah, let's watch. Oh, hi, hi. Can you hear me? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, who's called this meeting? Uh, I don't know. I called the meeting. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Hello. Hey. Oh, oh, have you nearly finished your training, nearly, wise man? No. Um, who's, I think, uh, Balthazar, what, what, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, I called this meeting to just to review um, this star over here. So I noticed it the other day, and uh, yes, according yes, to my book. Sorry, sorry, just I can't, I can't see anyone. Oh, just, you need to turn uh, your video on. Oh, there you are. You're on. Well, oh, that's okay. Carry on. Sorry, sorry. Carry on. It's okay. Oh, okay. And uh, according to my uh, book, which is all about this, um, um yeah. Well, this star sim uh, symbolizes. It means that um, the King of the Jews is about to be born. Oh, I have, I, I don't know where it's going to be born, look, some king, it must have that. And look, I found this the other day, I was a bit confused by it, but now it makes sense. The king of Jews will be born in the palace next to King Herod. So King Herod must know that the, this king is going to be born, because it makes sense, doesn't it? 
Yes, it just makes sense for a king to be born in the palace. Although my phone does say he's going to be born in the stable. Stable? No. No, no, don't, no don't trust oh, devices. It must have, must have been programmed wrong. Oh, no, I need to get this fixed. Honestly, it's causing me a bit of trouble. Mm, I bet it is. Shall we go then? Shall we get ready? And someone needs to tell Casper because I think she's frozen. So, yes, tax. Um, well, yes, if we increase it by 2.5%, by the end of the year, we should get enough money to buy that new thing that you wanted. What was it again? Oh, well, there were quite a lot of things that oh, I wanted. Yeah. But one of them was the new Google phone, the mini, and the what? what? Who is it? Who, who, who is this? Who is this? Get them off here now. Uh, your you your Majesty, we have, we have come regarding the news of this star. Uh, according to this very knowledgeable book, this star means that a king is being born in a palace. No. I'm the only king here. And you heard, there's a newborn king. He's, and he's supposed to be born. But I don't know why, you must have done something to him. Where did you hide him? I haven't done anything. Him again. I'm the oh. only king here. No, you're Nobody not. else is king. Advisors, find out how to get these people away from me. Mm, we can't, sir. Um, what do you mean? You're the one you're in charge. Or something. Oh, I'm doing what I can. I don't want to see you do as much as you can. I want to see you do more. Uh, Your Majesty, maybe, maybe if we go into a, our own breakout room and we can we can work this out. Who is this baby? Does anybody know? You've got to find me some information on him now. I can't find any information, sir. Um, well, that's just too bad. I might even have you executed. No, oh, I'll do my best. Has anyone got any ideas? Anyone? Anyone at all? Anyone got any ideas? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone got any ideas? I can't find anything. I found something. It says that the star is supposed to be over Bethlehem. Oh my god. Mm. Well, how are we meant to find him in Bethlehem? Bethlehem doesn't help. Bethlehem's massive. I'm stuck with all these idiots. Who are you guys? I'm Casper the Clever. Casper. I am the wise woman of the north, aka Millicent, by the way. Hi. I am the Bethlehem. Oh, well, hello. Well, I'm Mary. Who's Janice on the way? Oh, Janice, always. I believe that she was involved in... Oh, here, yeah, Janice. Hi, oh, Janice. Go and introduce yourself. yourself to me. Look, that must be the baby king. Yeah, yeah, this is... The, well, this is Jesus. Yeah, he's the uh, the light of the world. And, um, yeah, so he's just playing with some toys. Do you want to say hello to these people? They've come to visit you. Do you want to say hi? Hello, hello. Bear. You don't want to say hello. hello. No way. A bear. A bear? Hello, Jesus. I'm Millicent, the wise woman of the north, and I have brought you frankincense. You see, it's made, it's a bit of a peace offering, sort of. It's shaped differently because they couldn't give me the re the original in the shop, annoyingly. Oh, do you want to pass it? Do you want to pass it through for the? Okay, I'll pass it over. Oh, oh, thanks. Oh, look. We've got frankincense. Isn't this what they use like in like in the temple, like for prayer and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, they couldn't give me the original, which is really annoying. I didn't have enough money. Ooh. Yeah, and I believe the delivery may have misshaped it slightly. Oh, yeah. I couldn't buy it on like Amazon. Jesus got to get the original thing. Anyway. Great. Well, Jesus seemed to like that. Thanks so much. That's great. I got well, you a good too. Oh, thanks. It's a myrrh-scented candle. They ran out of myrrh at the shop. Mm -hmm. I hope you appreciate it. Oh, myrrh isn't... Do you want to pass it through? Here you go. Oh! Oh, well, yeah, so now it's... Well, yeah, it's, it's very smelly. Uh, isn't this what they put on dead bodies? Uh, well, let's move past that. Oh, according to the scripture, he may need it. Yeah, I, I do remember someone talking to me a couple of years ago about, about things like this. Here, Jesus, look. What did you get, Janice, again? I forgot. Well, I mean, I'm the cool one. What can I say? I got a bear. A bear? I oh, I... The eye phone. Oh, an eye, a gold. Look yes. at that. Yes, yes. showing off now. 
Planting is gold as well. More gold. Probably higher quality. Great. Pass it on. Chewing off bells. So he's a king. Yeah, pass it over. Okay, so there. Oh, and again. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. This is great. This is so good. Thank you so much for coming. You must have come a long way. Do you want some food? I get some food put on or what do you guys eat? Yeah, do you hungry? No, I believe that we must uh, right. return, unfortunately. Oh, well, lovely to meet you. Jesus, come say goodbye. Come say goodbye to these amazing people that have come to visit you. Say goodbye. 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 goodbye, Jesus. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for coming. Bye. How to kill this alleged king? I don't know, sir. I mean, there are other options but ki than killing, but um, according to my calculations, then they only have a um fifteen percent chance of working. So, while killing has a um a good, better thirty percent chance. So, what are your ideas? I mean, one of my other ideas was just um sending an email from a fake email account and um making sure that he um tries to go into, you know. Oh, yeah, but the new mm. iPhone is very cool. I really like the new iPhone. It's very cool. What? The new iPhone is incredibly cool. <coughs> yes, I like the new news. Spread. We have news. We oh, found yes. out where the king is. Yes, we know where the king is. Tell me where. Tell me where quickly now. The king, the newborn king. It's just been born in... No, okay, don't say anything. I just had a dream. We need to talk. We need to get into another breakout room quickly. Why are we in this room? No, no, we need to find no, out. What? Leave now, leave now, leave now. What? No, oh, tell us where the king are. is. Where the... Come on. This close, you see? This close. Nevertheless... The time of darkness and despair will not go on forever. The land of Sebulun and Nephtali will be humbled. But there will be a time in the future when Galilee of the Gentiles, which lies along the road that runs between the Jordan and the sea, will be filled with glory. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness a light will shine. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. So I like Isaiah chapter 9 as I think it's cool how they talk about Jesus years before he was actually born and it shows the significance of Jesus because they were talking about him like thousands of years before he was even here. Um, the passage in Isaiah 9 makes uh, me think of a very hopeful generation of people looking forward to a strong leader, which is always, uh, to me, a really good thing. I'm always very comforted when there's someone in charge who I respect and love. Uh, and the passage uh, speaks about someone coming who will be, you know, the Prince of Peace, um, someone who's very wise. Uh, so uh, to me, the passage is very hopeful. Uh, Isaiah chapter 9 makes me think about how in the passage it speaks about how like when Jesus comes it'll have lots of justice and peace and it'll be really good and it says the zeal of the almighty God will, will be everywhere but right now it doesn't really feel like that's the case so I don't really know what to think about it it just seems like we're not at that point yet and we need to wait. Have you ever noticed how much light there is in the Christmas story? So when the angels rock up um, to the shepherds, just like the radiance of God's glory just bursts across the sky. The wise men are guided by light, by a star right from the east to, through to um, Bethlehem, to where the, where the child now is. Um, it, Simeon says to, to Mary in the temple that, um, that Jesus will be a light 
to the Gentiles, to the nations. And John starts his whole gospel uh, proclaiming this Jesus, this word to be the light of the world, uh, breaking into the darkness and the darkness will never extinguish it. In the reading we just looked at in Isaiah chapter nine, Isaiah gives his amazing prophecy to the people of Israel. And he says, you know, in a time of great darkness, when everything seems like it's gonna be at its worst, a light is gonna shine. I wonder those people listening to that prophecy all those years before the birth of Jesus, I wonder if they could have fast forwarded in time and seen the Christmas story unfold. Would that have been what they imagined? A teenage um, mother and her new husband trying to find a place to stay? No room at the inn? The baby having to be born in a stable where, where animals were hanging out? the first visitors to be like shepherds coming down from the mountainside. And then these bizarre gifts, maybe up to two years later, from these wise men, these visitors from the East, gifts of real prophetic significance of, of a king, gold for a king, frankincense for a priest, but myrrh for a sense of sacrifice. I wonder if that's what the people listening to Isaiah's words would have expected. I wonder if that's the kind of light they were imagining. Wonder even if they'd forced, fast forwarded even like 30 more years and then seen this, this baby, this child that is born unto us, this wonderful counselors, this mighty God, this everlasting father, this prince of peace actually becomes a carpenter and then a rabbi and is nailed to a Roman cross. Is that what they were expecting? And yet the truth still holds. The light has shone in the darkness and the darkness will not extinguish it. When Jesus dies on the cross, the time he's hanging on the cross, when we fast forward to Easter, where surely this is where Christmas takes us, it says the whole land was covered in darkness. And yet when you think about Easter day, the light bursting forth from the tomb, angels there proclaiming the good news, just as they were at his birth. The light has shone in the darkness and the darkness will not extinguish it. The passionate commitment of the Lord of heaven's armies will make this happen. God is still God. He still reigns. Light breaks in. A death is defeated. Hope and love conquer all. And that's the hope of Christmas. He shall reign forevermore because the light has shone into the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. We're going to spend some time praying together now and we're going to use our Advent candles so if you've got some at home it would be a great time to get them out uh, and get a lighter too and a grown-up to help. Definitely. So Jenny's going to light the first candle and I'm going to read our prayer together if you want to get ready and light your first candle. As we light this Advent candle we remember Jesus the light of the world. Jesus thank you that when we follow you, we won't walk in darkness. We will have the light of life. Second candle. As we light this Advent candle, Jesus, we are sorry that we don't always walk in your light. We do and we say and we think things that hurt people and hurt ourselves. Please forgive us and help us to walk in the light with you. As we light this candle, Jesus, we remember those people's lives that are difficult at the moment. It might be that you want to pause and just think of some people that are finding it tough at the moment and pray for them. Jesus, we ask you that you will help those people in darkness, that you will be their light. And as we light our next candle, Jesus, we thank you for bringing us out of the darkness and into your marvellous light. Please help us to tell others about all the wonderful things that you have done. And now, if it's Christmas Day, when you're yeah. watching this, you get to light the middle candle. Do 
do you want to light it or do you want me to? You light the middle one and I'll, I'll read our special prayer. So if it's Christmas day in your house, you've now got five candles lit. There we go. Remember, Jesus is the light of the world. We say this prayer, happy birthday, Jesus, light of the world. Thank you for coming to live and to die and live again here. Thank you that your light shines on, guiding us into a life of peace. So now hopefully you've got all of your candles lit and you can celebrate Jesus' birthday. And we can all say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Ali and the young people for sharing that message with us. What a great reminder about the difference that Jesus, the light of the world, makes in our lives. Adults, if you would like to know more, then we are running an Alpha course starting on Zoom on the 7th of January. We would love you to join us. Alpha is a brilliant way to find out more about what Christians believe and have space to ask all those difficult questions. If you're interested, there are more details on our website or you can contact Jenny on jenny at saint.tease.org.uk. And children, there are lots of ways for you to get involved too. We have things happening online and as restrictions start to ease, we have more and more things happening in person in the building too. There are all sorts of ways for you to come along and have fun, find out more about God and come closer to him. So have a look on our website or email us at children at saint.tease.org.uk. We would love to tell you a bit more about what you and your families can join in with. So as a church, we're supporting four local charities over this Christmas period to support those who are in need this Christmas. There is a slide on the screen now. So if you would like to donate, then if you take those details and you can do that at your own time. Please join us in our final song as we celebrate that joy of Christmas together, led by some of our children and young people.
What a beautiful song. And thank you to everyone for recording those videos. I know it can take a long time to record and you all sounded beautiful. Well done. So we're nearly at the end of our service now. We really hope that you and your families have a wonderful Christmas time and that each of you knows the joy and the comfort of Jesus close beside you every day. Let's finish with a final prayer of blessing. Let us pray. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all this Christmas time. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas!